Alright guys, so now with these pistol disarms, like, I'll give you a disclaimer up front, like, this is the last ditch effort, you know he's gonna fucking kill you, he's trying to put you into the van full of, like, lollipops and raccoons or whatever, and you don't want to go, right? And again, um, never go, like, never, never let somebody take you, like, it, chances are when they take you somewhere, you're gonna be moved to a crude location for the first 24 to 48 hours, that's gonna be a, a rough holding spot, right? This is what they say in, like, what they say. If they'll take you somewhere, you'll have about 24 to 48 hours to be in a crew holding spot, that's your chance to escape, and then after that they move you to a more permanent position, good fucking luck escaping. You're better off trying to fight them off before you go anywhere, right? So like, this is one of those situations you need to like, do this, right? Now, he's gonna be stupid enough to get close to me with the pistol. Nobody smart, tactically speaking, is gonna ever do this, right? They're gonna stand back and Kyle, like, he's gonna be like that, right? And I'm gonna be like, fuck, like, all right, what do I do? In this case, I have to like wait. I have to wait and I have to comply. Now, if it was the type of thing where he was like, get on your fucking knees, and I knew he was probably gonna execute me, like, I don't know, fucking cartel or whatever, like maybe I would say, fuck it, ah, and just try to like man rush him, right? Like, it's better to get shot going out on your feet like a fucking warrior than it is to like die on your knees like a bitch. But at the same time, I mean, I'm no disrespect to the like, men and women that that's happened to, like, in the line of duty, like that happens, no disrespect. But you know, it is better um, if he tells you get on your fucking knees and he's, you think he's gonna fucking execute you, like, ah, like, like just try, go for it, right? But um, in this case, we're gonna assume we're close enough to grab it. Now, you can just stay back like a foot, right? We're close enough with this. We've got a couple of options here. We can lead ourselves off this way and push out this way, right? Um, or we can put, we can blade ourselves off this way and push out this way. Now, for the sake of the video, and so you guys can see, I'm gonna push myself off this way. Now, before I go ahead and do that, I kind of want to get him talking. I want to get him. I don't want to say distracted is the right word, but I want him to be moving his lips while I do this. So. Well, like, I don't know, like, what do you want? Like, that, no, 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 no. All right, then I go. As soon as he's, his lips are moving, like, that's my cue to go. If he's just target fixated, gazed on me, ready to fucking pull the trigger, I may want to wait for a better opportunity. But when I do think that I have the opportunity to go, I go. Um, I'm ready in anticipating absorbing rounds. I'm anticipating absorbing rounds, right? So that even if I go and it goes bang, right? Like I get hit, but I'm psychologically prepared to take that initial impact and keep fighting. Because you can get fucking shot at close range and fight and live through it, right? So I come here, bro, like, I don't know, like, wait, give me your money. Boom, I go, right? Maybe even I get grazed, maybe I get hit right in the dead center of the shoulder, but I'm still able to fight. I'm gonna come now with a two on one. The Secret Service and other agencies teach a grab, twist, pull method. Grab, twist, pull. They used to teach that. I don't know if they still do. I'm grabbing it with two hands. I'm twisting it and I'm pulling it away from him. There's so many vari variations on the pistol disarm. There's one for this way, one for that way, one for this way. But I always like to say if you can get this initial grab, twist, pull down, we can work on other variations and variants of this technique and pattern to our heart's content. But for a crude, these noisy ass cars, I always say for like a crude, like street fight, fucking dog fight, right? Whether it's with a knife, whether it's with a gun, whether it's with empty hands, um, your wrestling skills will really aid you more than anything else. And if I can get a hold here and start wrestling it away from him, and then maybe I've got, you know, my duck unders and all of these things going, my, the better I am on my feet, with my footwork, with my wrestling skills, with my closing grappling skills, the better I'm gonna fare with this. But it really boils down to just a fucking vicious dog fight at this point. It's a vicious dog fight for the gun. We grab, we twist, we pull. Hopefully we get it away, right? When we get it away, we're gonna wanna keep it in tight. Now this is called a Sewell position. It's, uh, I think it's Portuguese. It's Sewell for uh, South, Sewell means South. 
And when one of these tactical guys went over there to train the Brazilians, they saw them all doing this, right? And he said, what the fuck is that? And they go, Sul, it's Sul, South, right? Anyway, we want to maintain it like this so that he can't go ahead and try to grab it. When, I say when he tries to grab it, we want to keep it in nice and tight to us like this, right? And then hopefully, um, maybe we know enough about firearms, we can tap, rack, and see if we can shoot him with his own gun. Maybe we think, maybe this is, maybe we grab it and it turns out to be a fucking BB gun. Or like a plastic little light thing. All right, fine, we strike him in the face with it, we kick him in the groin, and then again, it becomes a fist fight, right? So the initial thing here that we need to worry about is I don't want to go with this strange man into his van with lollipops and raccoons. I want to I wanna get him talking, right? So bro, like, wow, like, what's going on? Please don't hurt me, don't hurt me, all right? Yeah, give, me, give me the money. We go. All right, we angle off, we blade off, we push this away from us, we grab it over the top, preferably, we twist it, pull it away from him, and we keep it tight to us. So we're gonna train that. Um, for you guys in YouTube viewer land, thank you for watching. Please remember that you were the first and last line of defense, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.